Hello viewers, welcome to the channel. This morning we're going to be working down in the shop for several days, working on a project that I haven't seen much on uh, as far as YouTube projects. So we're going to do something that has been inspired by this wall. I'm working on a patio project and in back of this wall there's going to be a drainage channel and on top of that I want to put two eight foot wide planters about 18 inches high. So let's go down in the shop and talk a little more about it. So previously I had a wood patio and I tore that up and I thought well maybe I can reclaim this lumber. And so what I did is uh, purchased a metal detector and after pulling up all the boards you know some of the screws broke so I found out the best way to get these screws out is nail punch them and then on the other side grab them with vice grips and pull them out if uh, the board was real bad sometimes I would just cut them out For the ends of the planter, they're going to be rounded. And I came up with this little jig, or more of a pattern really. I was trying to figure out what angles I needed to cut for these pieces in order to get a planter that was between 10 and a half and 11 inches wide on the inside that would accept planter baskets. The base will be constructed of two pieces of decking. You can see how the end will be attached and glued. And ultimately the planter will be about 18 inches high. Here you can see a, a pot that can sit down on a piece of lattice work that will be on the inside that will support dirt and pots and probably have filter fabric in there. Once the boards are ripped, they're sent through the planer and surfaced on two sides. And then I run them through the table saw once again. So they are split into four pieces. Okay, I got my stretchers cut. It'll be eight feet from tip to tip. Apply some glue. Going to be using a lot of glue on this project. Just temporarily tack one side. And then I'll glue and screw this, do all four corners. So the next thing I'm going to be doing for hours is cutting random length pieces to make what I hope will appear to be uh, kind of resemble dry laid stone. So for the top of the planter, we're going to have a flat piece of molding and the top of it has to be curved. So I'm going to take three pieces and join them together 
and I've taped down a center point here so I can scribe an arc or a radius. And I can use this then for a template to do four curves. And I'll join these together with a biscuit jointer. Next thing I'm going to be doing is rounding over the inside and outside edges. Then we'll get to the inside and putting in a liner. Even though this is treated lumber, moisture stays against the sides it can start deterioration and rot so what I'm going to do is put a liner in here first uh, before any soil goes in the first thing I'm going to do is take a piece of old billboard so this is vinyl and I'll lay that in here and that will be followed by landscape fabric For now I'm going to leave the top loose so it can be stained separately from the base. One down and one to go. Well we've got our two planters complete and now it's time to stain them. We're going to be using solid wood stain in two colors. All right, well, we're going to be staining the planters with spray paint. Um, it's kind of loud, so I'm going to wear ear protection. And as we're spraying, I'm going to be wiping down some of the highlight areas to wipe some of the stain off. Hopefully, that'll give it a, a varied texture look. We're starting off with a gray. We're going to mix some other colors into it and spray multiple times, wiping uh, just to see how the effect is something that we like. A 
Okay, we've added some lighter gray to our mix. Let's spray it on and wipe off. So for our last color mix, we're going to add some green and a slight tint of red that matches our cap. So for this color, we're just going to brush this on in places instead of spraying it. Might give it a little more of a textured look. It's time to pre-drill holes to screw the top down. Let's get to it. Well, that's it for the build. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is uh, just a project that followed up on how to reuse some of the reclaimed deck lumber before the patio gets rebuilt. So if you've enjoyed this project, please give it a thumbs up as a like. And if you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button and that little bell down there. If you hit that, you'll see the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.